this is the plan the way I see it. Manaply is going to start the game, and I okay. think in a perfect world, they would like to get two innings out of him. And if they can get through that lineup a second time, I think this would be an ideal perfect role for the Diamondbacks. Keep the game in order and do what they did today. Make sure that the Phillies don't score before they get a chance. But you to like the lefty going first, right? I do, I do. And then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with Ryan Thompson. And I think he might have to pitch a little bit outside of his comfort zone. He's more of a middle to the late relieving kind of guy. But I think he's going to have to go and try to get two innings. So we can cover the first four innings between two guys. And then I'm going to go back to my lefty, a guy that I really like, Saul Frank. I see him in the fifth inning, and I think this is going to be where that lineup turns over again. So we've gone through five innings, and we've used three pitchers, okay? Then I think you're going to see Kyle Nelson, another lefty. That way, I think you get to this point of the game, you can neutralize, you hopefully harbor, Harper, maybe Schwarber. This is when it gets dicey, inning seven, eight, and nine. Somehow, someway, Ginkle and Seawald, a combination of these two, are going to have to cover innings seven eight and nine Ginkle's been great he has season. been lights out I think you go with him to you see hey, he's out of gas and if that means Seawald has to come into a game before the ninth inning somehow some way these two guys are going to have to cover the last three innings so you like their roles at the back end clearly now what before they, that's lefty yeah headed. what they need though is they need to fill up your Phillies to help them out and you know it's it's an it's a great plan if you look at it but the problem is it's hard to get four five and in this case six relievers to all pitch well in the same game at the same time mm. so this is your plan for a bullpen game for Tori Lovello and I gotta say you know Brandon fought a rookie in a big game could have easily gone we saw what Andrew Heaney did when you have a bullpen game coming up everyone knows that to give the length that he was able to give paramount for them to have rested relievers in that bullpen for this bullpen game. I want to talk about the Phillies bullpen. So thanks, Dan. That was a great plan. You're the man. Let's go over to Anthony Recker because, you know, they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the Phillies have been amazing so far this postseason. Yes. But they didn't score a lot. And there's, a, there's something going on with their lineup that I'm a bit curious about. Yeah. Alec Bohm and then Stott batting 4-5. Yeah. Batting four or five in, in their line. This is this is the way I kind of see their lineup. But yeah, you're right. So when you look at the way they have it constructed right now, the top three are on my lineup, same as what they've got going on. But they've had Bohm and then Stott there in the four or five hole. Now look, I, it, it, again, if it ain't broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. I get it. They've been scoring runs, but at the same time, when you look at what's been going on in this playoff so far. Stott and Bohm haven't been swinging a hot bat. I mean, and, and the rest of this lineup really has, outside of Ross, they've all been swinging a great bat. So to me, if I'm the Diamondbacks, I'm saying, I'm not going to let Bryce Harper beat me. I'm going to go attack Alec Bohm and then attack Bryce and Stott. So to me, if I'm making the lineup and I'm looking at tomorrow, I might think about making some changes if I'm Rob Thompson because Castellanos has been amazing. So five homers already this postseason. He's not striking out a lot. Brandon Marsh has been great all year, has been very good so far this postseason, and Rio Mudo is swinging a hot bat. So to me, if I get those guys behind Bryce Harper, yes, do I create maybe a 7-8-9 situation that, you know, maybe it's an easy inning here and there? I don't know. I know that Bryce Stott and Alec Bohm can put together ABs and can still put the ball in play. But right now, the way 4-5-6 four, four, and six here, Castellanos, Marsh, and Rio Mudo are swinging the bat, get Harper that protection. Make them pitch to all that dangerous danger those dangerous hitters you got guys that can hit that ball out of the ballpark guys that can put the ball in play that are putting the ball in play right now and Nick Castellanos which normally he strikes out a lot I don't see any weaknesses here in that top six you got to move Nick at night up I, I agree I, I know he phenomenal. was hitless in game been three phenomenal but you got to have him on the on deck so no offense to Bowman Stott but when yeah, Harper's you, at man. the plate I mean yeah. if I'm the opposing no catcher and I look over and I see Castellanos I'm not thinking about walking Harper I'll tell you that right now